Hello everyone, welcome to series of DLC tutorials. In this series we're going to analyze all types of questions that are going to be in your upcoming final exam and I'm pretty sure that if you watch carefully these videos and um, solve problems one to yourself as a practice, you will be in a position to get really high score. My name is Shohrok Behaev and let's start analyzing problems. The very first problem is related to decorators. Consider you're given the function, this function. It has three inputs and you're given this mean terms, okay? And uh, your task is to implement this function using three to eight decorator and or gate. So first of all, you have to understand what decorator is. Uh, uh, as you know, decorator and multiplexers kind of uh, function almost in the same way. They receive input, you give input, okay? And uh, they process, okay? Here they process this input, I mean, uh, I mean, these inputs are processed, so processing, right? And then you get output. So this is what, this is block, right? So this is combinational block and uh, decorator is element of this block, type of the block. This block can be what? Multiplexer, later we're going to also uh, use multiplexer or decorator and so on, okay? So this is really fundamental to understand. So in this particular case, we're going to use decorator and or gate. So, okay. Uh, what we know? We know that we have three inputs, right? And then, what does mean three to eight? It means that you're gonna have three inputs and eight possible... Uh, no, no, no. How can I explain you? Okay, you have three inputs, right? And then, you're gonna have the output with the length of eight bits okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so you have three inputs and one output do not be confused one output but with the length of eight bits okay so now i'm going to draw uh, this uh, implementation yeah so this is what this is decorator as i told you this is the kind of block so we have three inputs coming. In this particular case, this is W1, W sometimes I can say V1, so don't be confused. So W1, W2, W3. And we have what? Eight, uh, no, not eight outputs. One output with eight bits. So, uh, so that's why you're gonna kind of draw this eight uh, lines, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let me write this here. The y one, y y zero, y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, y six, y seven. So this is going to be y zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. So four, five, six, seven. Right, yeah, seven. From zero to seven, it's going to be eight, right? So here we have y, y, k. I'm I'm doing everything so that uh, you know to become confused. So this is very simple. So now we have here our OR gate, and as you hopefully understand, we are gonna connect the corresponding this. Uh, bits okay signal this is signal right this is signal eight signals okay this is signals and uh, signal when there is a signal uh, we put here one and when there is no signal we put here zero right and how do you know whether you put zero or one okay it depends on what it depends on the given <coughs> uh, it depends on the given what? Yeah, midterms. So, uh, see, uh, where only when 
okay actually you know uh, i can explain it why i mean what does it mean for example this set i mean uh, m0 m2 m3 but it takes too much time so for example m0 means this um kind of sequence of inputs so v1 v2 v3 so how i mean how should we write this w1 w2 wc sorry for saying v1 when this index i mean this is index right zero right so we should write in in the in the way that the output of this three bit sequence uh should be zero so i'm going to put here what not 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 you know not means zero right zero 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 so this is zero so m2 is what m2 is two right so two is what in i mean in three bits two is what zero one zero right so that's why i'm going to write w1 w2 w3 so this this is zero right so i'm putting here not this is zero right i'm putting here not so in, the, in this fashion right okay so you don't need to understand it actually so what i'm saying is that so if there is zero if there is zero then you connect zero zero signal uh, to the OR gate okay so let me uh, draw it like that okay so here we have what uh, two three four five okay i'm gonna connect two three four five okay then uh, there is a seven so that's seven Okay, connected actually what does this mean what does this set mean it means that only when uh, we have this case m0 case m2 case m3 case and so on m7 case then uh, the output value is one or output is sent not one but output is sent what does it mean when you give the input okay uh, not always you're gonna get the output uh, okay true output let's say so for simplicity just know that if there is zero, if there is two, you're gonna connect this signal, zero signal, two signal, third signal to the gate, okay? So this is as simple as it is. So Y1, Y6, here plays no role. Uh, although, for example, here it's one, it doesn't matter, we're not gonna connect it, cause as I told you, because there's no six, right? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna also show another example. Uh, in this case, we have um, W1, W2, W3, again, three inputs, but in this case, we have different uh, M, M's value, okay? M1, M2, okay? So six, three, five, six, okay? So now, again, I am drawing decorator. The task is the same, implemented with using three uh, to eight decorator. So uh, W1, W2, W3, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So this one. Three, four, five, six seven so here we have one right so i'm gonna okay firstly let me draw all gate i'm gonna connect one two three four there's no four five and six done you solved the problem but before finishing this video i'm gonna tell you that there is a constant called e um what, what i'm saying is that uh, not you, you give to the block not only the input but the very one variable called e so you give it to the block and this block is gonna generate output only when e is one what so what i'm saying is that if e is one only then output generated okay in any other case you're gonna get only just zero okay i mean let's say this is f right this is f so uh else or yeah okay else uh, f is zero okay so that's why uh as usual case i mean usually we consider e to be always one so that's why please just always just write this case here put e 
here put e and here put one so what does it mean they are assigning one to the constant e okay which is um kind of inside the block let's say so let me write here also so you give also the value of e to the block so this please just don't forget also to write here e and put just one so this is as simple as it is so hopefully it was understandable for you just please remember if you get this kind of question implement a function using eight to three uh, eight to three to eight decorator or gate just um, look at this uh, indexes of m okay and this this indexes and then connect to the gate this is a gate connect to the gate only the signals i mean uh, with the same index for example uh, if here if here we have m0 then you connect y0 to the gate okay this is a gate let's say i mean doesn't matter it's, it's not always or gate okay yeah let me write here gate so you connect it to the gate So this is uh, as it is, so hopefully it was understandable for you. See you soon in our next tutorials.